Hello, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Fallon from School 33 and School 5, and I'm here to teach you a foundations lesson. I've missed all of you, and I can't wait to learn some new information with all of you. So to begin, let's start with our schedule. Like always, we're going to start with some sign language. And I'm going to read you a story. I'll ask you some questions. And then we're going to play a little game. So let's review some of our sign language from the past few months. So at the beginning of the school year, we learned to classify. So classify that. We also talked a lot about associations where we make connections. We did some comparing. We talked a lot about opposites. We also talked about synonyms. We talked about multiple meaning words. Oh, we talked about absurdities. And then today we're gonna to talk about analogies. So the sign for analogies, you gotta take your pinky, bring it up to your brain, tap it, and then two fingers like that. All right, so let's talk about what are analogies. So analogies show how some words go together. For example, a bus is to ride as a book is to read. So they go together. You use, you ride on a bus and you read a book. Another analogy is a rake is to leaves as shovel is to, what do you guys think? Dirt. Soccer ball is to kick as baseball is to throw. So with a soccer ball, you kick it and with the baseball, you throw it. Scary is to witch as funny is to clown. So these words go together, do you see? Because a witch, one way to describe a witch is that she's scary. And one way to describe a clown is that they're funny. So I'm gonna read you a story about feeling anxious when completing an assignment. So before I begin, can you think about a time when you were nervous? Hmm. You know, I'm nervous making my first video for you guys. I like to teach you in person. So this is something new for me. I wonder what's maybe what makes you nervous or what makes you anxious. Hmm. Well, let's find out about this story. Rainy day analogies. Oops. It was a rainy Wednesday and Brennan Bear was very nervous. His class had been studying and learning about analogies for two weeks. Today, they would take a test to find out how much they had learned. Their teacher, Mrs. Maloney, passed out the tests. All right, class, she said. You may start on your test now. Write your name at the top of your papers, then write your answers on the blanks. Brennan looked at the first question. It said, chair is to seat, as funny is to blank. I don't know the answer to that one, Brennan thought to himself. I'll go on to the next one. But Brennan didn't know the answer to that one either or the next one. In fact, Brennan didn't know any of the answers. He started to think he wasn't going to do so well on this test. Brennan tried his best on the test, but he just didn't understand analogies. He filled in some of the answers, but he didn't think he got all of them right. The next day, Brennan knew he would get his test back. He thought, Maybe Mrs. Maloney will lose the tests and I won't have to see my grade. But Mrs. Maloney had the tests in her hand and started passing them out. 
Brennan got his test back and found out that he'd gotten only three out of 10 questions right. He felt terrible. Poor Brennan. Class, we have a problem, Mrs. Maloney said. I wanted you to do well on this test, but everyone had trouble. I think I need to teach you about analogies again. I've brought a fun game for us to play that will help you learn about analogies. Brennan felt a little better. He wasn't the only one who had trouble on the test and the class was going to get to play a game. The class played the game many times and Brennan finally understood analogies. When Brennan took the test again, he wasn't a bit nervous. The t this time, Mrs. Maloney smiled when she gave the test back. Class, this is great. Everyone did a great job on the test. A stands for analogy and A stands for this class because you've all done an A plus job. Wow, it's pretty great when, if you don't understand something, sometimes you have to go back and learn it again. But lucky for you guys, this is your first time learning this with me. So we're gonna play the game now. So this is the game that Mrs. Maloney's class played. They had to feed the bear the honey with the analogy that matched the analogy on the bear. So let's look at the bear. It says vegetable is to corn. So I wonder which honey goes with that. We have meat is to turkey and rake is to leaves. Now they're all analogies, but we need to figure out which one makes the most sense to go with vegetable is to corn. So vegetable is to corn. All right, well, corn is a food and it's a type of vegetable. Turkey is a type of meat. Are leaves something you eat? No, I think that meat is to turkey is the analogy that goes with vegetable is to corn because we're both, they're both food and they both go in the different categories. So turkey is a type of meat, corn is a type of vegetable. Let's see if we're right. You got it. All right. Let's try the next one. Lemon is to lemonade. Okay, so a lemon is used to make lemonade, right? That's what I'm thinking. Now we have whale is to ocean. Whale's an animal that lives in the ocean. And then apple is to cider. Have any of you had apple cider before? I like it in the fall. So I think that apple is to cider goes with lemon is to lemonade because lemons and apples are what are used to make those delicious drinks. Let's find out. We got it. All right, here's another one. Turkey is to gobble. Okay, so a turkey goes gobble, gobble, gobble. Can you guys do that? All right, which one, which jar of honey goes with that analogy? Is it duck is to quack or is it pencil is to paper? I'm gonna go with duck is to quack because this is describing the sound that the duck makes. They quack, just like turkeys gobble. Okay. <clears throat> Snow is to drift. All right, so think about in the winter when the wind is blowing and sometimes you see the snow drifts and it's sometimes hard to see outside when there's drifts of snow. Okay, now our choices are fly is to kite or rain is to puddle. Well, I just said snow makes the drifts well, rain makes the puddles. Those go together, those are related. All right, skier is to ski. So that's a winter sport. All right, antler is to deer. 
Well, antlers are what's on a deer. That doesn't really have to do with sports or anything. Oh, skater is to skate. That's a sport. And the skater is who skates and the skier is who skis. This one's related. Oh, that was so much fun. I really liked that game and that helped me understand analogies just a little bit more. Now let's play, well, no, actually let's look up here. I was gonna say we should play another game, but really it's time for our questions about the story. So let's think, where did Mrs. Maloney tell the students to write their names? Was it on top of the paper or on the bottom? I think it's on top. How did Brennan feel at the beginning of the story? How did he feel at the end of the story? Oh, I need, well, let's think at the beginning. He felt nervous and anxious because he didn't remember anything about analogies. So at the beginning, he felt nervous. Can you all make a nervous face? And then at the end of the story, he felt good because he understood analogies and he felt proud because he did well on his test. How did Brennan's class do on the first analogies test? Hmm. So here's the first test. Did they do good or not as good? Not as good. How did Brennan's class do on the second analogies test? Did they do good or not as good? They did good. All right. What did Brennan's class do to learn more about analogies? What did Mrs. Maloney help them? How did she help them? Did she stand in front of the classroom and say, and just talk to them and read them a story? Or did they play a game? They played games. Learn, playing games sometimes really helps us learn. So the analogy game helped Brennan and his class learn more about analogies. And now it's time for our activity. We're going to play this game so we can learn more about analogies. So this is called the analogy lineup. Now, Mrs. Fallon needs her marker so we can play this game. What color should we use? Let's use blue. Alrighty. So the first direction is to look at row one. Here's row one. I need to circle the word that completes the analogy. So winter is too cold as summer is to what? Is it hot or Saturday? Winter is too cold as summer is too hot. Because in the winter you feel cold and in the summer you feel hot. All right, the next one, we're still in row one, is put an X on the word that completes this analogy. January is to February as March is to what? So February is the month that comes after January. So what month comes after March? It's April. That's the month we're in right now. Okay, now it's time to look at row two. Here's row two. We need to circle the thing that completes this analogy. Elephant is to trunk as duck is to, hmm, I see a lion, a glass, some jeans, and a beak. So elephant is to trunk, oh, that's part of the elephant, as duck is to beak, it's part of the duck. Now we have shirt is to cloth, as window is to what? Okay, so a shirt is made out of cloth. What's a window made out of? Hmm. Oh, glass. 
A window is made out of glass. Now it's time to look at row three. Circle the picture that completes this analogy. Football is to helmet as baseball is to oh, hat, a baseball hat. So when you play football, you wear a helmet. And when you play baseball, you wear a baseball cap. Now we need to put an X on the picture that completes this analogy. Dribble is to basketball as kick is to what? Do we kick a hoop? Do we kick a ring? Or do we kick a soccer ball? We kick a soccer ball. Let's do a couple more. Now we're on, this is the fourth row. We need to circle the shape that completes this analogy. Four corners is to square as three corners is to what? What shape has three corners? One, two, three. It's the triangle. Now we need to put an X on the shape that completes this analogy. Circle is to oval as square is to rectangle. Okay. And the last row, we need to circle the animal that completes this analogy. Dog is to paw as horse is to what? Hoof. That's like the foot of a horse, just like the paw is like the foot of a dog. Now I need to put an X on the two things that complete this analogy. Hat is to head as blank is to blank. So a hat goes on my head. So far we, we have a duck, a roof, and a house with no roof left. Oh, I think I know it. So a hat is to head as roof is to house because a roof is what goes on the house just like a hat is what goes on our heads. That was pretty fun. All right, I'm gonna skip those. I'm gonna skip that. Okay, and I have a couple more that these are just kind of fun and I'm gonna circle the answers. We're gonna go through these pretty quickly. These are just some more analogies for us to practice. And I hope that everyone sitting at home is using their brains and telling me what I should be circling, even though I can't really hear you. All right. Sunglasses are to sun as goggles is to <gasps> pool. You need the goggles in the pool. Lemonade is to drink as watermelon is to Eat red or three. It's to eat. Grill is to burger as fire is to, what's something that you make over the fire? S'mores, mm, I love s'mores. Rain is to umbrella. Okay, so we use the umbrella when it's raining as sun is to, what helps us when it's sunny? Sunglasses. Lemonade is to lemons. Okay, so we use lemons to make lemonade. As ice cream is to what? What do we use to make ice cream? Oh, cream. Float is to pool as chair is to, okay, so we use a float in the pool. Where do we use a beach chair? Oh, the sandy beach. And that's it. Boys and girls, I hope that you learned something about analogies and that you're all doing well and staying healthy. I miss you all so much. Bye.